Hey guys. You know what that is? Sawdust. You know what we can do with that? Make two of them. Alright, thank God we had a uh, mild winter. We had about, uh, we had two rows here of um, cordwood. Probably about close to 10, between 10 and 14 uh, cord of wood. And this is what we have left over. We'll still probably go through a little bit more, but uh, we have plenty of, uh, plenty of materials here to uh, attack our toilet paper needs. So anyways, what's the secret of uh, not having to wipe your butt? Is it like uh, some kind of, is it a canine thing? Um, is it just, is it something you can teach us? Is it something you can teach us? What's the secret? Come on, why are you, you gonna whisper it in my ear? All right, she's gonna whisper it in my ear. We'll, uh, we'll get back to you. Oh, oh, you're not gonna believe it. Uh, um, Barney Rubble just called me and told me f somebody stole Fred uh, Flintstone's wheels to his car. They thought they were toilet paper and He's not happy, not happy at all. But anyways, in all seriousness, this uh, this um, toilet paper thing is out of hand. I was a, a Pepsi sales rep for the company for 10 years, slash merchandiser, and uh, the whisper of a snowstorm or anything like that, the sales would go through the roof, and you actually had to uh, prepare in your sales... Um, accounting for these sales and it's just crazy it's so unpredictable what people are going to do but if you do need toilet paper and everybody runs out there is a way you can make your own paper now what i would suggest is not paper towels and i certainly wouldn't suggest napkins or baby baby sheets but you can take old books um old paperbacks or whatever Throw them in a blender, add a little bit of water, mix it up, mix it up, mix it up really, really good. Now, a friend of mine, a kid I went to school with in eighth grade, did a science project on the matter. And he took paper and recycled it as a science fair project. He, um, mind you, this was like sixth or eighth grade, so it was years ago. He blended paper, he uh, got it wet. He soaked it and heated it up in a, in a kettle, and then he took it, laid it, laid it down, and and took a hot iron and pressed it together, and actually made paper, recycled paper that way. So think about that. Um, get, get some old paperbacks that you didn't like, or you're sick of rereading, and take the pages, put them in a blender, and take care of that process. Be inventive uh, in these times of need, and um, see what you can do. All in all, I hope this helped you out, and you guys will see you on the next one. Thanks. Tibbs out. Sorry about the wind, guys. We've been standing out here. We've been standing out here for about a half an hour now, videotaping these vehicles going crazy. They heard that uh, Walmart just got a load of toilet paper in, and uh, they're down getting it. We'll be back.